What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and with iOS 10 out for about a day now, a lot of people have installed it already and they're just underwhelmed. There isn't much that's changed in the looks department. But don't be fooled, Apple has changed so much underneath the hood and they didn't really tell us about it at their event. So with this video, I wanna show you 50 awesome secret and hidden features changes in iOS 10 that Apple didn't really tell us about. And man, some of these are so cool. I think you guys will love them. Let's get to it. Installing iOS 10 will actually give you more storage back despite the fact that it has more features. So comparing it to iOS 9 right here, you can see there's about 1200 more megabytes in the total capacity of iOS 10. When using the back to app feature, it no longer covers your cellular data bar or your Wi-Fi bar over here. So you can go ahead and go back to whatever you're doing before without it interrupting your view right there. With a the success, if you 3D touch on the settings icon, there's a new toggle to take you right to cellular data. It's nothing like putting it in here, but it is more helpful. So if you have a success on the control center, every icon down here has a 3D toggle. On the camera, you have your camera options. On the calculator, you can copy your last result. On the clock, you can set timers. And on the flashlight, you can actually set the intensity of the flash unit. It is really, really cool. So you can preserve battery life like that, going to low intensity or high intensity. And the control center does have two pages. Apple did tell us about this, but what's cool is that where you leave it off is where it will be when you open it again. So when you're controlling music, that's a really useful handy little feature. So just like on the Apple Watch, when clicking in your control center on the toggles, that feature has been implemented into iOS 10. So when you're actually toggling these, they actually light up just like they do on the Apple Watch. That is a really cool continuity aspect. There is now 3D touch for folders. So if you 3D touch on a folder, there are new options. First off, you can go right to the app that has the notifications in the folder, and you can go ahead and rename the folder using that toggle right there. Also, if you ever wanna move an app inside of a folder and you do the wiggle thing, it will not represent all of the apps out here. They will not be wiggling only inside the folder. Nice little touch. And I do wanna mention the fact that the folder now has a blur that that was non-existent in iOS 9. So nice clean look. Now the new messages app is really cool, but Apple didn't tell us everything there is to know about it. Built into the messages application right here is a place where you can search the entire internet for GIFs or photos directly from within messages. Super cool. Not only that, you can mark up, draw on photos on messages you're gonna send someone. For example, right here. So Apple has some built-in little emoji stickers. If I go ahead and select uh, this, plop it on a photo I sent to someone that will be reflected right away on the other person's photo. Really neat feature. I mean, it's a, a great way to interact. Not only that, you can go ahead and hold on the photo and add you know little sticker emojis like you like it or something and it'll pop up right away on that one. Something I'm so happy Apple added, read receipts in iOS 10. So for individual people, you can disable read receipts within their contact page on the message, super neat. Yes, Siri can do a lot of new things, but I noticed that Siri is already smarter as is. Search for movie theaters in Portland. Looking for movie theaters in Portland. Finding movie Oregon. theaters in Portland. I found 11 Oregon. theaters. Okay. So as you can see, Siri gave me three extra results she couldn't find in iOS 9. Typing in iOS 10 sounds a lot different, a bit strange than it does in iOS 9. So this is a standard, of course. This is the new one. It's a little bit more muffled, but it's nice and elegant. I do like it. The clock application in iOS 10 is completely dark. Hopefully this is a sign of what's to come, possibly a dark mode in future betas, but I just found it so interesting that Apple has this. There's also a new built-in wake alarm inside of the clock application, which will basically ask you on what days, when you want to wake up, and it works with you on your schedule. So you wanna go ahead and tell it, how much you want to sleep every single night, and you'll get a reminder every single day when you need to go to sleep in order to achieve your goal of when you want to wake up. A lot of changes in the photos application, in particular, there's a new details button, which will give you details on where the photo was taken and related photos that you took nearby. Also, if you want to edit, the edit function has been relocated to the bottom right here, so it's a little bit different, and there is a new option here where you can go ahead and mark up the image, draw on it, and change it up. Also, there is a new change in the editing function over here in the light category, there's a new brilliance one, which you can make your photos look more brilliant. Now when swiping through live photos, they will quickly animate without you needing to press on them. So just like that, they go ahead and animate to bring the effect to life without needing to press on the image. And a new feature introduced in iOS 10 is the ability to finally edit live photos crop them, resize them without them losing the live function. So you guys can go ahead and crop it 
and then afterwards, if you click on it, the live photo function is still there. And not only can you change the orientation, the crop of the image of a live photo, you can also add live filters to live photos as well. So you can go ahead and change up how it looks and it will retain the live function as well. So just like that. And in iOS 10, your photos are now digitally stabilized. So they will be very smooth, much more smooth than they were on iOS 9. Something I noticed in iOS 10 is that the camera always loads faster. Apple made some sort of optimizations where it loads and focuses faster than it does on iOS 9. So if I can launch these simultaneously, as you can see, it always does open up faster. Inside of camera, there are some adjustments as well. So the reverse camera orientation is down here instead of up here, the filter and that one have swapped places, which makes it a little bit easier because you use this one more often, of course. Also in video, the actual resolution you're using instead of being right here is now over here and with the frames per second right next to it. Cool little change. And one of the coolest things in iOS 10 is the ability to take photos while music is playing in the background. So super cool, it no longer stops. It's really infuriating when that happens. Now it's all working together. Also the interface on iPads has changed, but better than that is the ability to zoom easily on the edge right here. So instead of having to pinch to zoom, you can easily do it just like that. Now in settings, in the music settings, there are new options. So you can go ahead and optimize storage by removing music you haven't played in a while temporarily. Also an option to sort songs by different things instead of just the albums. And there are a couple more options as well. Now one of my biggest pet peeves with iOS 9 was how hard it was to clear all notifications. Now it's super simple, just over here, it will clear everything out with one tap. Now the way I'm gonna say this is gonna sound very strange, but if you're running iOS 10, you'll know what I'm talking about. The vibration when you put your device into silent mode is so much better. It's like a futuristic vibration, it feels Really nice, takes advantage of that haptic engine inside of the iPhone or taptic engine. Apple has finally added inline video on iOS 10. So if you go ahead and minimize a video, just like that, it will keep playing on iOS 10. It doesn't stop. That is really cool, a much needed feature, but opening it up, it'll resume and you can go ahead and watch a video just like that. If only Apple brought picture in picture, I would be happy. Also, when you lock your device and you go back in, it doesn't stop playing. It actually resumes where you left off. And a couple things that many of us already know, but I wanted to mention because not everybody knows this. Going to iOS 10, the slide to unlock feature is completely gone. So you can no longer slide. You just have your widgets or your camera right there. Instead, you just click your home button to enter your device. Also, lift to wake, which is a neat, awesome feature with iOS 10. Apple is trying to make us all move to a future where we don't need to press buttons in order to unlock our device. So with Touch ID, raise your device, Touch ID, you won't need to press any physical buttons. Now, Apple made no mention of this whatsoever, but there is no longer a dedicated Game Center app in iOS 10. It was a waste of space and Apple just left it in the settings where it should have been all along. Now, this is something super cool. iOS 10 will remember where you parked your car the moment you get out of your car. It works by Bluetooth audio, I believe when it becomes disconnected from your car, it automatically takes note of where that location was and it will give you this prompt basically in maps telling you with a pin where your car was last left. Also in iOS 10, the maps feature is certainly much better. So you can go ahead and get panning directions when using the maps. It's much more intuitive. It shows traffic directly in the maps, lots of new colors, much easier to use of course with everything being down here instead of up here. So one-handed operation is better. This is a super cool, neat little touch. Whenever you zoom into a city, anywhere in particular, if you wanna just check it out, your maps will provide you weather to that location right there in the bottom right. But we can take this even further, and if we go all the way to Beijing in particular, it will give us air quality over here as well. So if you live in a polluted area, Apple Maps will tell you what the air quality is currently outside. When getting directions in maps, you can specifically instruct the maps to avoid tolls or highways, but tolls is the new one here. So if you guys don't wanna pay, your maps can take you around them finally. Now by default in iOS 9, there weren't too many widgets available for stock apps. Now Apple has included many, many more. So there's a lot to choose from. And of course they're all interactable 
definitely a much bigger selection available in the today view over here. Mail is smarter as well. It now knows when you're getting a mailing list email, which can be really annoying and all of them have different procedures to go ahead and unsubscribe from. Now mail gives you a quick option to unsubscribe from a certain emailing list. And of course you can now remove system apps. So if you don't want a certain app, you don't need to keep it on your device anymore in a junk folder. I mean, this applies to a lot of individual applications, of course, not the fundamentals, but you can go ahead and redownload them from the app store if you ever want them again. And of course, one of my favorites is the rich notifications in iOS 10. So it pretty much opens up a whole conversation within the quick reply where you can go ahead and reply to the other person and stay here until you need to leave. It's very, very nice. It's open to third parties. And this feature is coming to older devices as well. It's not exclusive to the newer ones. Small little touch, but you can open up an unlimited amount of tabs in iOS 10 over here instead of just 36 on iOS 9. It's certainly much more capable. In the app store, the category tab is now back instead of just top charts. A little touch as well. A change I love in particular is the ability to turn your device off much faster than holding it on iOS 9. I think the prompt comes up twice as fast now. And when restarting your device, a very interesting touch on iOS 10 is that it jumps straight to your home screen if you don't have a password set. On iOS 9, you have to slide to unlock, but on iOS 10, it's just there, boom. And a very nice touch on iPad with iOS 10, if you actually rotate on the lock screen, the clock is off center. So it's not directly in the middle, very elegant looking, almost Android-like. And guys, there you go. So this is just 50. I promise there is way more hidden features in iOS 10 and they're still being discovered every hour. So I will have another one of these videos up eventually, just as soon as I find 50 more, but I do hope you enjoyed these. iOS 10, it's great. It's not huge on the surface, but beneath functionality-wise, there is a lot I'm loving. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. If you wanna install it, I have tutorials on that up there. Otherwise, stay tuned for the next video. Peace.